We join play now in the Indian second innings. They're four for no wicket. Angus Fraser is the bowler. Sidhu is taking strike. He's appealing for the catch and got him. What a start. Chris Adams. First ball from Fraser. Back pad from Sidhu. Adams takes the catch and a good catch it was. It'll only go in the book as court sub bowled Fraser. But what a moment for that young man to remember. Yes, it was a good catch, and uh, I believe that he just stand at least a half a yard, maybe a yard closer at short leg than what John Morris has been standing. Oh, it's all over for Ravi Shastri. And one has to say an optimistic stroke, minus the footwork. Just a waft of the bat on or about off the stump. And over they go. And he's gone for the shot and got it this time. This is the frustration for an off spinner. If he pitches just the slightest bit short, the pace is so slow. But uh, it's giving a batsman a free shot. There's a hundred up for India. And Mandrake is 50. Appeal for that, and he's given him, and he's walking. And Raker getting in front of his pad. Hemmings has got the catch of the wickets, and now India really in trouble. 109 for three. This one was uh, a more uh, flighted delivery, and Manjaker got his bat in front uh, of the pad and uh, edged it on to his front pad for a simple catch to forward shot leg. alone, complete misjudgment on the part of Gonsaka out he goes and now India really rocking, 109 for 4 what a breakthrough by Lewis that was over pitched and beautifully played by Tendulkar lovely way in which she just opened the face of the bat and swung it straight through and of course there's so many close feelers that if you hit a gap then it will be four runs. And, they were and it's out. Hemmings gets the bounce. It leaps up to Lewis at back of short leg. And the fifth wicket is gone. Terrible shot, bowled in, flighted well up, and my word, Kapil Dev will have a very silent dressing room to go back into after that. Trying to save a test match, you've got within 20 minutes of tea, he's sixth man out at 183 for six. Before, there's no, uh, no fine leg, and there's no third man either. And four more. Now that's a half century for Tendulkar. Lovely stroke, forcing the way through cover. Takes him on to 53. That's two half centuries in one match for this young fellow. A great performance the way this game has gone. Fine shot into line. It was more than a push, but it wasn't a full blooded square cut. That'll do. Way, way overslip. And again, the ball flies away for four runs. Now, no bowler enjoys this. Although he's asked to attack, Angus Fraser really would hate to give away runs. He's given away no balls. And this flies away for four. Tendulkar out there, besides counting that, 
would be also counting the runs left for his 100. Both these batsmen have done a very, very fine job for the uh, team. What a lovely shot there. There's definitely a chance of three there. Even though it is uh, Chris Lowe's chasing. And 50 up for Krabaka. That's a very good innings. A very good innings indeed, because when he came in, there was an excellent chance for England to force a win. And this splendid partnership now has uh, pushed England almost out of the reckoning. Tendulkar on 98. And there it is. Test match 100 for Tendulkar. Aged 17 years and 112 days. One of the youngest ever to hit a Test match 100. In innings of temperament, skill and delightful stroke play. Beautiful shot. That's as good as any stroke he's played in the innings. He's given that some too That's a lovely shot through the, the whole of the innings. You really can't see England breaking through the deck these last four wickets and in fact with uh, just two more runs added to that total to take it up to 343 for six England called it a day the players walked off the field with congratulations all round for Tendulkar and Prabhaka 119 and 67 respectively they took the score from 183 to 343 for six a terrific performance the bowling figures for England Malcolm one for 59 Fraser one for 81 Hemmings three for 75 Atherton, none for 22, and Lewis, one for 86. Now, this is the way the match finished. It was a very good game of cricket. There wasn't much pace in the pitch, there wasn't much bounce, but still we almost got a result, and we saw some marvellous play from the batsmen of both sides. With Tendulkar, a wonderful all-round performance, 68 in uh, the first innings, and 119 not out in the second, saving India. And the match adjudicator was David Lloyd, the former Lancashire captain and uh, England opening batsman. He nominated Sachin Tendulkar. And no wonder, a wonderful performance from him. An absolutely magnificent match for Sachin Tendulkar. We'll see a lot more centuries flow from his bat. I just hope I'm around to see them.